Yeah, so two separate things. So sleep issues with stem cell transplant. So it's, this is something that I think that we don't look at in, as, as a healthcare delivery system. So it's not just in transplant patients. Transplant patients are often uh, inside the hospital for prolonged periods of time. But we don't look, we as a healthcare delivery system don't really pay attention to sleep as much as we should. So we set up rooms that have a lot of light in them. They have computer screens in them. We go in and we change out the garbage cans at two or three in the morning. We have a lot of beeping and noises. Um, and then we wake them up in the middle of the night to, to, to do vitals, but then on top of that we do blood draws, and then we wake them up early to do rounds. So the sleep is very disrupted. And so what during this, this, this meeting, uh, one of my colleagues will be talking a little bit about sleep, how to, what, what are the problems with sleep inside of the hospital, and some easy strategies that healthcare delivery systems can do to try to mitigate that. So, you know, re rescheduling when we're cleaning the rooms. We we don't need to be cleaning the rooms when kids are asleep. We don't need to be taking out the trash. Kind of just change our systems a little bit uh, and, and change the environment so that people can get some decent sleep while they're in the hospital. And that goes for anybody in the hospital, not just transplant patients. As far as weight loss, weight issues in transplant, um, so really what you want to be able to do, the most important part of, uh, of, of, of kind of the big message about around weight is just to watch it, look at it, think about it. Some patients, they, they, it's okay that they lose weight. Maybe they put on uh, extra weight from steroids, that's okay. You just need to make sure you look at it, make sure they're maintaining their muscle mass, make sure they're not becoming cachectic because we're not, they're not taking in enough nutrition. So it's just having a cognitive uh, and systems in place to be able to look at, measure, and, and address weight issues through transplant.